So, uh, the Sonic Origins Plus collection has just released. Um, uh, I think the Sonic Origins game came out last year, and the Plus uh, was released a couple of weeks ago, I believe. Um, Sonic's Sonic's been ported more times than, than any game I can possibly think of at this point. Uh, there's so many versions, so many ports of that particular game. I thought I would go through a couple of versions that you can play, um, other than Sonic Origins Plus. Uh, now, Plus does have some interesting add-ons. For instance, you do have the um, the Game Gear games, uh, which is a bit of a bit of a downgrade in, in some regard. It's good to have them, but they're not the good. They're not the best versions to have. So I'm just going to show off a bit of footage of each of the different versions of the games that you can play uh, with a bit of the footage incorporated in the background. Uh, so first up is this one came out on 360 and PS3. This isn't really Sonic Sonic. This is a mixture of different Mega Drive games, Genesis games, depending on where you are in the world. Um, it's pretty decent. It's uh, It's got all the... It's got Sonics 1, 2 and 3 and uh, Knuckles is on there and plus those of the Mega Drive games. Like Streets of Rage. Uh, golden axe um so it's not a bad version obviously you can get there are older versions so there's like the sega saturn version which uh sega ages collection there is also the uh ds collection i mean sonic as I said, has been ported so many times it's it's almost a joke at this point uh origins uh, also has some there are some issues with sonic origins uh Mainly they changed the music because I believe Michael Jackson supposedly produced some of the music. Um, which is kind of lame because I think they've just put in like prototype music for the game. Uh, which is, you know, fair enough. It's obviously a, a copyright issue. So every other version has the original music. So that is kind of a bit of a downgrade in some regards. But it's not... I don't think it's a deal breaker. I mean, it's Sonic. And you can play it on... Just about any platform in history, I think, at this point. There's so many versions of the Bleeding Game. Uh, as you can see. Uh, this version is the Sega Mega Drive Classics Collection, which came out on 360 and PS... 360, sorry, Xbox One and PS4. Um, the version I'm showing on the monitor is probably... I would say... Might be the best version, and obviously that is Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Um, it's a, a very, very, very good version uh, of all those games. Though I... Does it run at... I'm, it might run at 50 hertz. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, in fact, let's check, because I'm not 100% sure myself. Dinky little 360 controller, as you can see. But it's by far, it is the best version, in my opinion. The layouts of the game, or the layouts of the UI, the actual, it's just, it's got a nice sort of layout. It's got all sorts of like artist drawings, and there's a bit of history. The comic books are on there. In uh, my understanding is the UK had different comics to the US, and uh, I don't know about other what places in the world. I presume Europe would be the same. Because um, I used to read the Sonic comic uh, religiously. Uh, in the mid 90s, so it was quite a cool one. But I do think the games on this version run at 60 hertz, at 60, at 50 hertz. Let's just check. Yeah, that's running at that's running at 50 hertz. Pretty sure of that anyway. Let's see if I can go back to. I need to get out of this bloody game. I've generally forgotten how you get out of this bloody game. Uh, there is a way of doing it, I know there is.
And we should be able to reset cartridge. So as you can see, there is a difference in terms of the uh, the the refresh rate. Uh, but there are there's there's variations of uh, Sonic games that you can play. Um, the Plus Collection is one I pref I like quite a lot. Um, but Game Gear games now. This is in the UK. Game Gear it, it existed and it was. I don't know how popular it was. I never owned one. Um, but I always I started with Sega uh, before the Mega Drive. I started with the Master System. Now the Master System is a system that is not very popular, from my understanding, in the US. I know it's picking up a bit more popularity now, but at the time uh, it wasn't as popular as it was in Europe and the UK. Um, and that is obviously that the. In fact, are those uh, those versions are actually on this particular version of the game. I think. It's just remembering how how do I get out of this? Okay. Okay. Cause I've I've owned I owned the original Sonic Hedgehog um on Master System. On sadly unfortunately I uh, sold it. As you do for the the new in thing. So here it is. <laughs> I have done a video, I've done actually played a full playthrough of this at some point on the channel. And the the Game Gear version isn't that bad. Now, as you can see, that's how it should look, and that's it beefed up. Uh, I don't own, obviously, this version at the moment, but I have the, the, the superior versions that should be on the Mega Collection, or on the Mega, should be on the Origins Plus Collection, should be these ones. It should be the Master System games, because they're a lot better. Um, I believe they made some improvements with the Game Gear version in terms of uh, the jumping physics or something, but in terms of screen crunch, you want to be playing the Master System versions if you can get them, because they're so much better. Than the Game Gear version. Not it's not a deal breaker in the grand scheme of things, but um, they they're just better games. Uh, in terms of screen crunch, uh, the the I've cleared this, and I believe I cleared the the original. Um, but Sonic Two again is the same thing on Game Gear. It's got screen crunch, um, so it's going to make the bosses not impossible, but not as easy. Uh, and Sonic Two is a bloody difficult. Well, from my memories and recollection, it's a very very difficult game. Uh, the hardness is all over the place on that game. Um, but the, there are so many goddamn versions of Sonic that you can bleed and play. Uh, the Sega really have sort of dropped, uh, dropped the pooch on that a few times at this point. Um, if we... This is really difficult when you've got 19 different goddamn controllers. Obviously, the kicker with this version on the Xbox One... PS4 and obviously this is running on Series X and it's also on PS5 uh, due to backwards compatibility. You have a few little different things on this version, so uh, there's a few like Wonder Boy. That, that that Wonder Boy 3, I think, is that the one that's the side scroll? It's really weird. Um, but as you can see, uh, they don't for some reason Sonic 3 isn't included in neither his knuckles on this particular collection. But you've got so many different games on here and stuff um it's definitely not the best collection i still think the i still think uh that is the best collection if you want to play all sorts of different mega drive games sadly it isn't backwards compatible as far as i'm aware uh, which kind of sucks um but if it's just if it's sonic you're looking for there's there's, there's plenty of bleeding versions that you can play uh, including, there's also on Steam, as I've already said, DS, Sega Ages, uh, there is a collection, Sonic Gems, which I don't have, which is, uh, in fact, I think I've got Sonic CD, I believe. Um... Uh, 
the only the only the only big improvements that I think Origins has got is he can play as Amy Rose, for instance, um, in uh, the Sonic uh, Origins Plus version, um, and they've made some. I think Knuckles is in it as well, so there are some little add-ons into it, but it's quite an over. It's a little bit overpriced for what it was when it first came out. And of course, you've got both the Japanese and the US soundtrack, which apparently um, is quite controversial. Um, I, I think I'm used to the Japanese version. I believe, I believe the U European UK version just had the uh, uh, Japanese music, but I'm not 100 sure. I don't know why they changed it. Sonic CD is a weird game, though. It's it's not a bad game in a, at all, but it's kind of an odd one. Uh, excuse my camera, it's kind of difficult to film when I'm like this. Oh, and also they have included apparently the, um, the spin dash and the, is it the super peel out? Which I've always found kind of weird. It's very, very difficult to play when you're only got one, using one hand. It's good that it's backwards compatible. That's, that's, that's kind of cool. Just kind of like it feels like I've always felt, felt Sonic CD always just feels like an upgraded Sonic One, just with uh, better features and uh, there's an odd one because I never owned it. Um, it was one of the only reasons really to own a Sega uh, CD, uh, but um, obviously, as we all know, uh, Sega kind of screwed the pooch when it came to uh, the amount of versions of add-ons they made for this for the Mega Drive was just a joke. Um, I don't know many people that actually owned a, a Sega CD. I think I knew one person that owned one. And uh, 32X. That went well. You have to excuse my wonky film camera. Camera, sorry. Um, the other versions that you can play, obviously, is uh, <sighs> hell. Just go back to the originals. Uh, true, you don't have the save mechanic, sadly, uh, apart from Sonic Three. Um, but as I said, as you saw the intro for Sonic City, Christian Christian Whitehead, and I believe I don't know if it was him and his team did the Sonic Mania game. And um, uh, Sonic Mania is, I think, absolutely tremendous. I think it's probably, it might be, bar Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the best Sonic game that's ever ever made on the 2D side of things. As you can see on the Sega Game Gear version, like his nose is all crushed up. I presume that's because it's running on a Game Gear. Um, no hate towards the Game Gear. It's just a, uh, just my first experience playing this was on the Master System, and um, it's it's a much much superior version in just about every way. But it, it's, it's certainly got its merit. I mean, it was a handheld at the end of the day. It was competing with a Game Boy, which is like competing with well God basically in terms of handhelds. Because uh, Nintendo's stuff was uh, 
uh, Game Boy is presumably dominant uh, in the UK. Uh, unlike the NES, which which was very popular, but um, in my memories, uh, Sega was possibly more popular. Obviously, that began to change as uh, Nintendo became more and more popular in the uh, UK and Europe. Which is surprisingly difficult to play with one hand. And this game's not as forgiving either, because if you uh, if you hit spikes and lose rings, you die like that. Um, so yeah, so it's an it's an interesting. You've got you've got options. Let's put it that way. You've got a lot of options on how you want to play this. Uh, um, obviously, from a modern. Day obviously you can have achievements and stuff on the uh, the newer stuff, uh, especially Sonic Origins. Um, but they there's just some minor issues with Sonic Origins Plus. Obviously the Game Gear being the main thing in terms of uh, the, I don't know why they don't put just put the Master System versions on that collection. It would make a lot more sense, and I think people would probably have a better experience of playing these old games because at the end of the day, like that's what it's all about. And obviously you have got the upcoming Sega is it Superstars, I think it's called or something. Or Sonic Superstar. It looks quite good. It looks kind of interesting. It's got like a 2D with like kind of like a 3D sort of background. I think something like that. But it looks kind of interesting. But obviously it's all uh, dependent on what we get. But I mean, hell, there is obviously I've gone through all, like the legal ways. I mean, you can just emulate this stuff. It's not. I've got such such nostalgia for the old the uh, the master system. I mean, hell, I've, I've actually got one and it actually works. Sadly, it's the budget one, the uh, master system two, which I didn't realise at the time, and I can't record off that unfortunately because it um, only runs um, RF. Uh, it doesn't have the AVI AV cables. I can't use on it, so I'd need a Mega Drive master system converter to actually play any of these old master system games which i've been looking at but even on ebay they're not they're not that um there's not that many of them and what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to my headset for a second and i will show you because there's actually um there's chaos emeralds on this version of the game as well uh but they i don't think they do anything um but uh i'll do that before i finish the video just to show you off i don't know if you've seen it it's kind of cool it's just one of the things i remember from this game as a child so i'll switch to that and then i shall leave it off from there <laughs>